over the last 10 to 15 years or so, the venture capital industry has become a lot more of an M&A based business where you have less and less IPOs and that's something that is, is very unfortunate from, from where we sit. Uh, 20 years ago, you had twice the number of public companies and that impacts everybody in this audience and every, every policy maker because whether you're saving for retirement or, or trying to make earnings in the public markets, you now have less companies to be able to choose from. And if you look at a company like Microsoft, they went public at something like a $100 million valuation, and people have been able to kind of ride that wave in the public markets. And today, a lot of the venture-backed companies that, that we deal with aren't looking to go into the public markets until they're in the high single billions, if not $10 billion market valuation. And certainly, you've got recent cases of companies like Uber that were, I think, at a $60 billion valuation or something like that. And so because you have a lot more M&A activity, especially among some of the big tech companies, you do have varying perspectives in terms of how people are treated in the marketplace. You, I, I certainly have many, many anecdotes to draw upon of members of ours who have dealt with, by virtue of, of being investors in these companies with large technology companies that have felt very abused. They felt like the intellectual property laws have been inappropriately used against them uh, as if they're, they're Perhaps at times there are competition concerns and whatnot. On the other hand, you have a lot of people who look at some of the big tech scrutiny that's gone on in the larger tech lash movement, and they are really concerned about what the consequences might be of this. Because if you do have breaking apart of a lot of these companies, it's kind of like a butterfly effect where you don't really know what the outcome might be. And so since a lot of these smaller venture-backed companies are not able to access the public markets, you do have them needing to rely upon M&A more so than in previous years. And then you have to ask yourself whether or not a lot of these companies would be able to really come in and, and fulfill that.